chicken story. I want a leg, said Timothy. I want a leg as well, said Amanda. And I want a leg too, peeped Matilda, the baby of the family. The father looked at his wife with a sigh. It was always the same. Whenever they had chicken for dinner, the three children and his wife always wanted a leg each. But chickens only have two legs, so the two who didn't get a leg always grumbled, right through the dinner and the dessert, and Timothy had been known to grumble all night. The father could, of course, have bought two chickens, and then they would have had four legs. But as he would like to have a leg as well, that meant he would have to buy three chickens, and three chickens would be far too expensive for just one dinner. The children's father was a scientist, and as we all know, scientists can invent anything. The problem of a chicken having only two legs started the father thinking. His problem would be solved, he could find a chicken with five legs. But chickens did not have five legs. No one had ever seen a chicken with five legs, and that decided Edward, who was the children's father, was a good reason to invent one. In fact, Edward thought it would be an even better idea if he invented a chicken with ten legs, and then everyone in his family would be happy they could have two legs of chicken each. It took him a long time and a lot of work and a lot of experiments with chickens, but one day one of his chickens laid a special egg. It wasn't oval like ordinary eggs, but had ten little lumps on one side that looked suspiciously like feet. A few days later, the second egg was laid by his special egg-laying chicken, and this one had ten lumps as well. The two eggs hatched, and yippee! Edward had two chicks, and the two chicks each had ten legs. He sent his precious chicks to the best hen farm in the world and then waited. A few months later, he had a call from the owner of the best hen farm in the world. Edward, said the owner. Now Edward was the name of the children's father, as I said. Edward, said the owner of the best hen farm in the world. We now have 20 hens, all with 10 legs. Edward could not wait for the weekend. Taking the family with him, he drove to the best hen farm in the world. He could not wait to have one of his chickens with 10 legs in the oven and see the smiles on the faces of his wife and children. It was true. The 20 hens were in a field, pecking and scratching the ground with their 10 feet. I'll just take one today, said Timothy. It'll be quite enough. Ah, that will be a problem, said the owner of the best hen farm in the world. Why, asked Edward. Apart from their 10 legs, they look perfectly normal to me. It's the 10 legs that are the problem, said the owner of the best hen farm in the world. They can run so fast, no one has ever been able to catch one. And to this day, no one has ever caught a chicken with ten legs. In fact, I bet you have never even seen a chicken with ten legs, have you? That's because they run so quickly, not only can you not catch them, they go so fast, you can't even see them. <laughs>